Trophon EPR training video, how to clean, disinfect, and store an ultrasound probe. With the expansion of ultrasound procedures to many and varied clinical settings, especially at point of care, ultrasound is now becoming a cornerstone in the diagnostic and treatment of patients. New technologies such as Trophon EPR make point of care disinfection possible. In order to reduce the risk of cross-contamination between patients, it is important to reprocess ultrasound probes before each patient properly, so they are ready for the next semi-critical or critical procedure. This training video will take you through the three simple steps involved in effective ultrasound probe reprocessing. Clean, disinfect, store. Clean. Cleaning is the essential first step in reprocessing ultrasound probes. It is the key to the reduction of organic material, microbial load, gel, and other soils on the surface of the ultrasound probes. Before loading the ultrasound probe into Trophon for high-level disinfection, make sure your ultrasound probe is clean. Use the cleaning wipe to start cleaning the probe from the cable strain relief, moving the wipe up to the top of the probe. Visually inspect the probe and repeat the process if needed until the probe is visibly clean. Use a drying wipe to ensure the probe is completely dry before it is loaded into the Trophon for high-level disinfection. Disinfect. Now that your probe is clean and dry, it is time to load the probe into Trophon. Place the probe high in the disinfection chamber with the cable strain relief secured in place by the cable clamp. Ensure the probe does not contact the chamber wall at any point with the tip of the probe above the embossed line. Next, place a chemical indicator into the locator at the base of the chamber door, red side up. Close the chamber door. Verify that the probe is both clean and dry by selecting Yes, shown on the Trophon screen. Press the Start button. The chamber door will remain locked for the duration of the 7-minute disinfection cycle. Before removing the probe as part of the room turnover, clean the start button and handle with a low-level disinfectant wipe. Store. At the completion of the high-level disinfection cycle, Trophon will beep once to indicate the cycle is complete, and the screen will display the message, Cycle Complete. If you have the Trophon printer installed, a maximum of four labels can be printed automatically. Perform hand hygiene and put on a fresh set of gloves. Open the chamber door to remove the chemical indicator. Check the chemical indicator pass status using the color assessment chart. Dispose of the chemical indicator. Remove the probe and close the chamber door. Lightly wipe the probe with a drying wipe. Store the probe using a Trophon Clean ultrasound probe cover. Insert the probe into the Trophon probe cover and wrap the securing tie around the cable strain relief. Then place the covered probe on the console holder. Dispose of your gloves. Take the Trophon printed labels and complete the required information. Take the probe from the console holder and place one of the printed labels on the Trophon Clean Ultrasound Probe Cover. Attach the corresponding Trophon printed label into the Trophon logbook for record keeping. The ultrasound probe is Trophoned and ready for the next procedure. Refer to this diagram in the Trophon EPR Operational Training Guide to know when to high level disinfect your probe. Non critical, semi critical, critical. Trophon is the safe, versatile, and simple way to prevent ultrasound probe cross infection risk. Trophon Ultrasound Reprocessing System. Clean, disinfect, store. Help streamline your workflow practice to reduce risk, reduce cost, and increase compliance. Have you Trophon today? Join the thousands of healthcare facilities worldwide that use Trophon to high level disinfect their ultrasound probes. Before taking the online quiz, please also review the Trophon EPR Operational Training Guide document and watch the video again if required. Thank you for joining Nanosonics on our mission to improve the safety of patients, clinics, their staff, and the environment by transforming infection prevention practices.